So hi guys, this is Varsha, and you're watching Master Me. So friends, in this session, we are going to discuss some of the important questions from your sound from your physics. And friends, all these questions which we are going to provide you are from the model test papers of many different books, which are published as per the latest CIACE curriculum. So friends, we will be discussing the questions. There are ten questions which we are going to discuss, and all these questions these are very important for your ICC 2020 board examinations. And these are the questions which are most frequently asked in your board examinations. And you can expect that these questions can be asked this time also. So let us begin. And friends, if you are not that good in numericals, if you are not good in solving numericals in physics, and if you really want to score good marks in your board examinations for physics, then you will have to. Study the theory parts properly. Study the question answers properly so that you can score well. So let us begin. So friends, the first question: Name the waves which is used for echo depth sounding. So the waves that is used for echo depth sounding, it is ultrasonic waves. It is ultrasonic waves. Now the next question: State two. Conditions for an echo to take place. So, friends, this is again a very important question which is asked from this chapter. That is sound. Most of the time, you will find this question in your board examination. It is repeated many times. So, study this properly. You have to study any two conditions for an echo to take place. So, friends, the first condition is the minimum distance between the minimum distance between the source of sound. And the reflector must be seventeen meters. This is the first condition. The minimum distance between the sound and the reflector it should be seventeen meter. And the next condition for an echo, for a echo to take place is the size of the reflector. the size of the reflector must be large enough the size of the reflector must must be large enough as compared to the wavelength of the sound wave So friends, these are the two conditions. First is the minimum distance between the source of sound and the reflector must be seventeen meter, and the next condition for an echo to take place is the size of the reflector must be large enough as compared to the wavelength of the sound waves. And besides this, there are other reasons as well. So you can follow your book for that. You can write any two. Now the next question, which is again very important, in which unit? In which unit? It should be unit actually. Sorry, in which unit is the loudness of sound measured? So the loudness of sound it is measured in a unit which is called phone, and it is not the mobile phone with which I am recording this. It is P H O N phone. This is the unit of the loudness of sound measured. Now the next question, question number four. Name the phenomena. This is again very important. Most of the time it is asked in your board examinations. Name the phenomena that is involved in tuning a radio set to a particular station. So the phenomena that is used for involving uh, that is used in uh, Tuning a radio station, it is your resonance, and you must also learn the definition of resonance because most of the time this is asked about your resonance. Most of the time, this this question is repeated in your board examinations. Well, now the next question that is question number five. What is the condition for the resonance to take place? So the condition you must remember. What is the condition for the resonance to take place? It is the frequency of the externally applied force. Must be equal to the natural frequency. So I am not writing it here. You can write it because it's quite lengthy. So I am just telling it. You can note it down. The condition for a resonance to take place is that the frequency of the externally applied force it should be equal to the natural frequency. And friends, if you want the PDF of this, then you will get it in the description box. You can download the PDF of this from the description box of this video if you want. Now the next question is question number six. Name the characteristic of sound in relation to its waveform. It is quality, and you must remember that quality. It is also called this is a quality. It is also called timbre. 
वेल नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वॉट इज द सेफ लिमिट ऑफ साउंड लेवल इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेसिबल फॉर ह्यूमन हियरिंग सो द साउंड दैट इज पीसफुल टू दर्स ऑफ ह्यूमन इट इज टेन डेसिबल दैट इज टेन डी बी टू फिफ्टी डेसिबल एंड इफ यू गो अब दिस दैट इज सिक्सटी डेसिबल एंड अब दिन दिस इज इरिटेबल टू द्यूमन इयर्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज योर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ सोनार so you must remember this and you most of you must be knowing this it is sound sound navigation and ranging it is sound navigation and ranging now the next question what is the principle on which sonar is based so friends you must be knowing this sonar it is based on the principle of an echo so the answer is echo and the next and the last question which is again very important and which is most of the time asked in your board examinations it is explain why stringed instruments like guitar are provided with a hollow box so friends this last question i'm just telling you i'm not writing it here the string instruments like guitar they are provided with a hollow box because when the strings of the guitar are made to vibrate by plucking then the vibrations of the strings force the air of the hollow box inside the hollow box it all, it is also vibrated and since the surface area of the air, air inside the hollow box is large so the force vibration produced in the air causes a loud sound so this is the answer for this question you can write it by your own you can make it and write and friends besides this there are simple numerical problems that are asked from this chapter that is sound so you have to remember some of the relations some of the formulas to find out the numericals to solve the numericals so one formula i'm telling you it is v is equal to 2d by t so this is the formula which you can use and from this chapter the most important questions we have already discussed so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and besides this if you want the pdf of this then you will get it in the description box of this video you can download it if you want so friends thank you